Hey, my name's Julie, and today I'm going to show you how to make these gorgeous little wet felted chickens. These chickens have been made through a process known as wet felting, where you start with a natural fibre, such as a high grade merino wool, and you add detergent and warm water and rub it together, creating friction, and then the fibres begin to lock together into a strong and soft felt. I've chosen this higher grade merino wool for a couple of reasons. One is it lends itself particularly well to the felting process. I've chosen these colours, these autumn colours, because they remind me of the common domestic eyes of brown chooks, which are brown and have a hint of orange in them as well. To start with, I'm going to make a ball, which is easier, especially for little children, to put the fibres around. <laughs> some of these fibres. Now I like them to look quite nice and thin, quite cobwebby, so you can hold them up and see through them. Then with this one piece I'm going to cover it like this. I'm going to do this several times in both directions until my ball is covered. You're always better off to make more layers but have them thinner than try and do too few thick layers. <laughs> with that. Now this is the first stage of the felting, having it done like that. I've already pre-made just some water with a little bit, just a tiny, just a drop or two of detergent. And I've wet the ball now. I'm going to rub it together in my hands creating friction and this will cause the fibres to lock together. <laughs> second stage of the felting process. This is called the fulling stage and this is where we're much harsher with the wool now, with the wool fibres. I'm going to use just a simple bubble wrap with the bubble side up and I'm going to roll the ball on this. This will cause the felt fibres to lock together even more making it much stronger and it will also shrink a little bit as well. Let's go. And you just keep rolling until you're happy with the end result. I'm pretty happy with this. That is a lovely little wet felted ball. Now all we need to do is add a beak, which I've made out of cardboard, just cut out of cardboard. Some pipe cleaners for legs, a couple of feathers for wings, and some eyes, googly eyes. And that will be transformed into a chicken. So one of the glorious things about wet felting is it starts from natural fibres like this, and it can end up being transformed into a felt. We've got our ball, I'm just gonna add the extras now. I've got a hot glue gun, just a note with children, be very careful, get an adult to help you. We're going to start with two little pieces of pipe cleaner, one's a bit longer, one's a little bit shorter. I'm going to put the short one about there, I'm going to fold the right side over to the left, and I'm going to fold the left side over to the right. This is our first little chook push. So now my feet are ready and we've got two feathers as well, two yellow feathers to act as wings. And one on the other side. Now we just need some legs and we're done. And there we are. One very cute little wet felted chicken. Thanks for joining me for today's session. I hope you've had fun and I hope you enjoy all the felting adventures that might come your way. Thanks.